What's up, motocross action? Today, we have a brand new 2020 KTM 125SX. The KTM 125SX only got a few updates for 2020. There's a new fork piston and a new setting in the exact WP forks, and the shock also got a new setting and a new compression adjuster for improved tuning. The major updates for this bike came in 2019. The frame was all new last year. It kept the same geometry as the previous year, but the changes were made to alter the flex characteristics. Torsional stiffness was increased by 10%, and longitudinal stiffness was increased by 2%. They did this by increasing the outer diameter of the frame's cross brace and by re-engineering the head tube gusseting. The subframe got slightly longer and lighter, the cylinder has a new layout for the exhaust port, the clutch got the updated diaphragm system, it got the restricted air box that MXA has been constantly complaining about until they finally gave us the vented ones and the new four-stroke models. We wish that it would have came on the 125, but we can always swap it out with our 450s. There were also some minor updates to the suspension, seat, fuel tank, kickstarter, clutch cover, swing arm, triple clamps, radiators, and exhaust in 2019. It wasn't a brand new bike, but there was lots of little changes everywhere on it. This bike got a lot of updates last year, and we weren't expecting anything big for 2020, especially when the Austrian two-strokes competition is a Yamaha, and we all know that they aren't getting any updates. So what did we like about the KTM 125? Well, being that it weighs only 192 pounds without fuel in the tank, but all other fluids included, the 2020 KTM 125 SX hits the scales as the lightest full-size bike on the market. Some people claim that weight doesn't matter and we get confused. Everyone knows that less weight on a motorcycle makes for quicker acceleration, faster stopping abilities, and less stress on the bike as a whole. Who wouldn't want that? We, we never see you guys wearing weighted vests for fun, so why would they claim that weight doesn't matter? If you can save it, we appreciate it. peak RPM, which is 11,200, the KTM is making 37.5 horsepower, and that's three horses stronger than its Yamaha competitor. But where the KTM 125 lacks is down low. With that, the KTM takes more skill to keep in the power band than the Yamaha, but once you get up there, it pulls away. MXA test riders felt that the KTM did well in the corners, but was easy to fall off the pipe if you didn't keep your finger on the clutch. If you're riding a stock KTM 125, we'd recommend adding a tooth to the rear sprocket to help the low end throttle response, especially on short run ups to jumps. The KTM's chromoly steel frame turns into corners nicely and loves to rail through ruts. There's no chattery feedback from the front end when we leaned over. However, the KTM handles best when it's pushed harder. The WP exact suspension on the KTM 125SX was good. It was stiffer than our Yamaha YZ125 suspension and it didn't track the ground as well as our SSS forks did, but it was nicer for our stiffer riders. And with the air forks, you had a wide range of adjustments so we could change it for our heavier test riders all the way down to our lighter test riders throughout the day. Overall, the WP shock, we had no complaints with it. Overall, the 2020 KTM 125SX is an awesome bike and it's a strong bike off the showroom floor. With it, it's hard to get into the power and you really have to feather the clutch to get into the meat of the power, but once you get into the power, it's awesome. We here at MXA really appreciate the R&D money that KTM and Husqvarna are putting into their two-stroke development program to keep improving these bikes each year. Obviously, there wasn't major changes in 2020, but it had a lot of big updates in 2019 and even some minor adjustments for 2020. We appreciate that the Austrian brands are still investing in the two-stroke market, and we know that our readers and loyal MXA viewers do as well. <laughs> Stay tuned to Motocross Action Mag's YouTube channel. We're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side shootout with our Yamaha YZ125 and our KTM125SX to show you the pros and cons of each bike and tell you which bike's right for you.